I did three renders. This is the first frame. So I like this one. I like the way the reflection and the details in the water. So this is the frame 96. So of course no scattering, just the general look. And I put a bit of depth of field. So a uh, bit of depth of field uh, in here, but because the, the lens are very wide, like 16 millimeters, uh, you don't notice too much. Uh, but there's no atmosphere, the lighting is still the same. So I was just trying to understand how we are uh, revealing this island. So I think it starts here, then moves there, and then here is the tilt of the the, in the z-axis the camera is moving uh, and breaking a bit the horizon line so uh, other things that I like of course it's going to react depending on the light but I think our ocean is looking really cool because uh, we have like this variation with the more like there is a bit more sharp wind waves there in the further back there is this a reflection is causing this to be more calm as if this cliff is protecting the the wind in here so we really like this uh, and that's just because we put a higher reflex uh, reflectivity uh, and less roughness so uh, it just create this nice patch of calm water uh, around this so the next step let's dive in and let's start playing with a few things uh, before we put down the, the, the trees, just to, to get it faster, the look, I want to bring a fog element here. So for that, what we need to do, we need to select the light of our scene. At this point is this one, we, uh, we, we're going to work on the light later. But uh, here in the, in the volume, the contribution scale is to zero. I want to put like a... Um, uh, contribution so now we are getting full contribution on the volume if we have any clouds so I'm going to bring an HDA that I created in the past I'm going to give it uh, for free it's a uh, call volume box just a simple uh, let me dive inside just to show you quickly what we have here so if you dive inside you have like this box inside of this it's converted to to a volume to give us some density inside here we just playing with the density with a noise and a ramp so we have less density around the edges of this bounding box and we're exporting this to density and and then we have just like uh, some code so we can control the ramp or where we have want more density and where we want less so that's basically it and i bring all the parameters the main parameters back to them to the hda here so we can play with that in here so now is the size and the center uh, let me just make it like zero 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 uh, so you can see there in the horizon and also uh, this is uh, 212 and 200 so I will leave the camera so we can see it better from there what's going on so here is our box I want to make it much bigger so let's make it maybe like 600 50 and 600 so now we have a much more defined fog let me see the center where this is uh, going right now so let me put them and see it okay we have fog all over the place yeah the fog is almost in here only in the render so we can define this and let's see the path let me hide the ocean for now so we can see the frequency uh, because it's all linked let's make it like this one or maybe even uh, four now i think i like two the amplitude I think we can have it more like this and I make it even smaller like with this more dense patches bigger uh, patches seven yeah I think this is okay 
so this is the nice density so I think if we have here we have more density I think I'm going to have like around here and this is the the top of and the bottom so you see it's fading out uh, if I make this large it's getting more squared so I like to have this kind of fading away in the edges and now let's see under the water I don't want that so let's keep increasing that to maybe 25 or even more even higher the center to yeah we can have it around this I think it's it's okay let's see through the camera so and there can bring back this okay we have now some fog let's create a material for that so material let's say as material building okay so let's call this fog let's dive inside let's delete this node and create a volume RS volume let's play this to the volume it's important not to play it to the to play it to the surface and here the density uh, I think the density can be small like point uh, five and the absorption we can start with point two and we play with these parameters when we render it so I'm still going to render without this the scattering so it's just a bit faster and maybe I can just come in here in the redshift and enable the selection enable displacement just kill this so we have just just a flat uh, ocean to render faster as well I think that's it so let me save and let's render and play with the the render setting I'm going to render and then come back so maybe 0 1 we have a bit of fog uh, here uh, 0 5 we have a bit of fog around this area still I think we can uh, benefit if we have like a, when we have the, the, the real lighting but now we have a fog into the scene and, and just let's just um, keep playing with the values oh not this one I want uh, this one to to give it a look here it makes it more uh, defined uh, or if I want it to be less defined I can just come in here and make it like a zero one so it's ten percent and maybe this one we can increase to five then it's very foggy um, point two yeah we have like this tint coming on come along this uh, the scene the fog but then we're going to play with this uh, when we when we have the the real light I just want to play with the density and let's use the the not the progressive render so we can have a better feeling for the for the fog itself I still think it's too much I want to have less fog so I am gonna say I make it like two and and zero five maybe just to give a bit and then we can play later with the with when we have the real light on, on the scene so now we have the fog I think it's uh, uh, give some atmosphere to the to the whole thing and then let's start getting the mood and, and try to find uh, a nice look for the scene uh, we can go with this very bright scene it's uh, not very used uh, um, it's not very common that you would see this kind of bright light because it shows a lot of the flaws of the scene but if we have a consistent 
believable uh, 3D environment, we can use actually this uh, very bright day, uh, daytime scene. Uh, only if you have, if you are confident that your scene holds up to this light. Otherwise, the sunset, the sunrise makes everything so beautiful, and it hides a lot of the the detail. So, uh, it's it's up to you in the sense of uh, of using this. You know, like uh, this is, for example, if you wouldn't have any vegetation, this looks really weird. And if you have like a, a different uh, atmosphere, let me try to to get a different map. Uh, let me see one of these. I want to see dusk. Yeah, like this dusk. Let's select this one and see. It's going to. Yeah, it's initiate initiating the optics. And I don't know. Yeah, the exposure is off so let me make it zero yeah so you, you have like this desk of course it's it's, um, it's too dark now but you see it hides a lot we don't even have vegetation it's already working well and uh, and gave a totally different mood to the scene uh, it's also really cool but i think because we put so many so much attention to 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 the scene i think we can benefit from having more light on it uh, maybe side light more like in a sunset color let me see uh, if we have something here that's really cool in that sense i don't know what is this one uh, my thumbnails are all weird because the lighting is just too off so i'm going to select this one just to see and we might need to adjust the exposure here so yeah already I can see that we let me just do this so we can see it in general let's make it zero yeah that's that's also a nice light I like this one and maybe this one we can transform it to zero yeah look how beautiful this is and maybe this light we can have it a bit lighter now then we start losing the details so I'm going to keep it like zero it's awful nice uh, if we change it to 180 degrees we're going to have more light in this because I think the source of the light is around there so if I rotate here 180 degrees we're going to have more light here also cool it's also a nice thing with the vegetation it's also going to work well uh, let me do something i will activate all all this i'm going to activate the tessellation and displacement in the ocean and then re-render and then come back to you guys so we can have a look and see if we go for this uh, mood for something more sunset golden uh, look or for the very bright uh, noon kind of look